Good morning, everyone. We want to welcome you to Solution Hour number six. And we give God all the glory and all the praise for the privilege of being here at this time. We just want everyone to be in a mood of prayer. Appreciate God for the privilege of seeing the end of week number 41 in the year 2023. And then let God know those challenges you're bringing to the Solution Mountain this morning. And ask him in his infinite mercies to grant you solutions to those diverse challenges. We're on the mountain, Zion. We're on the mountain, Zion. We're on the mountain, Zion. We have come to worship the Lord. We are on the mountain, Zion. We are on the mountain, Zion. We are on the mountain, Zion. We have come to worship the Lord. Ancient of days, eternal rock of ages, the great I am that I am, the mighty man in battle, the miracle working God, Jehovah Bore, God the creator is your name. Jehovah Jireh, God the provider is your name. Jehovah Shalom, our peace is your name. Jehovah Shikenu, our righteousness is your name. Jehovah Mekedishkem is your name. In you, O Lord, we live, we move, and have our being. And unto you shall the gathering of your people be. So this morning, Father God Almighty, October 14, 2023, as we complete week number 41 in this year, 2023, we gather here on this Solution Mountain to praise you, to honor you, to adore you, to magnify you, to worship you for all you have done, all you are doing, all you yet do, for who you are. And we know that as we have gathered, oh Lord God, that you will touch each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. You will touch us, oh Lord God, to break yoke in our lives. You will touch us to lift burdens. You will touch us to heal us. You touch us. And even as you touch us again this morning, you will make us whole. We are swift to recognize areas of our lives wherein we are falling short of your will and your glory. And we beseech you, Father, forgive us. Mm -hmm. Cleanse us, oh Lord, of all unrighteousness. In your mercy, Wash us clean with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. As you wash and cleanse us, empower us unto righteousness. That as we continue the heavenly race we are running, as we continue the journey with you, our walk with you, we will continue in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions, in our interactions, in righteousness, in holiness, pleasing and acceptable unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, for those of us who are here, once again, we give you praise. And as we plead the blood of Jesus Christ on this solution mountain, we pray the more for those who will yet join us, that you remove every obstacle, every hindrance, every distraction, Amen. that in this hour, all of us will receive solutions to the diverse challenges that are facing us. And you, O oh Lord, will receive all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, all the praise. For in Jesus' mighty and victorious name, we worship you. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
friend we have in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a father we have in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a shepherd we have in Jesus. Oh, what a protector we have in Jesus. Oh, what a provider mm -hmm. we have in Jesus. Oh, what a king we have in Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We have come to the hour of testimonies. We want to testify again today to the power of God at work in our lives. Let us take inspiration from the psalmist in Psalm 34, verses 1 to 6. He declares, I will praise the Lord at all times. Mm. I will speak his praises. What about you? I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. And he invites everyone to come and praise, to come and boast with, with him. In verse 3, he says, come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. Brothers and sisters, he was not offering lip service. He was offering an invitation, a praise to God from the bottom of his heart because he gave the basis for his testimony in verses four and five he says i prayed to the lord and he answered me he freed me from all my fears those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy no shadow of shame will darken their faces in verse 6, he says, in my desperation, I prayed. 
am the Lord. Listen, he saved me from all my troubles. Is there anyone in the house who can declare the glory of God, the power of God in their life this morning? Anybody? What is the lamb? Hallelujah. Just a quick testimony to the glory of God. When we came for solution hour number five, previous week, one of the prayer requests, one of several we brought here has been answered. Our Hallelujah. young niece, our younger uh, cousin, delivered safely to a bouncing baby boy, her second one. A second one in two years. It was a prayer request, but today is a testimony. And we share it with all of you to the glory of God. And for anyone whose loved ones are pregnant, they will deliver safely, like the Hebrew women, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, we worship and adore you. We thank you for new life that you have given unto us. We thank you for your power at work. We know the doctors and the nurses have done their part, but we know it is by your power this has happened. Some trust in chariots, some trusted in horses, but our trust was and is in you and you have delivered we worship you and adore you father Hallelujah. we commit that baby into your hand in that, that you the alpha and omega the beginning and the end you will guide the footsteps of that baby you will shower your power upon that baby you will cover that baby with the blood of jesus from the crown of the head to the sole of his feet to be a shield for him against every fairy that of his enemy in the mighty name of jesus amen amen, amen. Uh, my sister mommy usa i didn't give you a chance to talk last week do you have anything for us You're muted. Muted. I'm sorry. Um, I hope you can hear me now. Yes, we can hear you clearly. So I'm going to give a testimony about the greatness of God in my life. Hallelujah. For the past almost three months, I've been on like a skeletal um, um, schedule at work because I was preparing to do some things. And during that time, a very crucial training was going on in my department. Now, de my department is one where everybody runs from. Nobody wants to do the work there. So I was like um, the point person there, the person they put in charge. And then um, I was away during three-week training that they were giving to upgrade a certain software system in the department and everybody a few people i heard them saying oh so tayo is going to lose her relevance because she's not going to be here for the training by the time she gets back she won't know anything about what is going on so i started full work my full schedule back on monday monday this this week monday and um to the glory of god within two days i was teaching those who had taken the training for three weeks, I was teaching them what to do. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Um, the director came and told me yesterday that, wow, the way you just quickly get a grasp of things, that I am so impressed Amen. that you are such a valuable member of this team. Amen. So I give all the glory to God. The God gives wisdom unto the foolish and who also prevents us from having shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for wisdom. Father, we thank you for confidence. Father, we thank you for support. Father, we thank you that uh, while others were looking for failure, you have provided success mm. even yes. in the face of challenges yes, of technology. Sir. Father, mm. it is not by our power nor by mm -hmm. our might. Mm -hmm but mm -hmm. by your spirit yes, in the Lord. mighty name of jesus we are thanking you this morning for that victory and father lord 
we commit our sister into your hand to Thank continue you. to give her wisdom, to Amen. continue to give us support, to Amen. continue to that your, your your glory will continue to shine in and through her in that environment in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Any other before I monopolize this space? Any other? Any other? Uh, Sister Bimbola Oyeji, I called you last week, but you yes. are muted. We did not hear you. I did not forget. So we want to hear from you this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Yeah, I run a business. I'm just starting a small, a small startup, which we pray by God's grace. There will be a Fortune 500 company soon. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. So without any advertisements, we've been reaching out our products to some some stores. And when I was starting the business, actually, there was a particular store that honestly it was my business plan because he was the only store that I was used to patronize and he was such a kind person. But you know, when it came to the time for us to launch the product, he actually by one cook or crook or the other, despite the fact that he had told me to bring the product and everything. In fact, if I'm discussing that product with anybody or my clients with anybody, I would say, oh, one, one store has already agreed to stock it for us. But when it came to actual practical terms, I found out that I, through one thing or the other, he was dealing darling. But God in his own wisdom and mercy, he actually brought other people Mm. that you know we didn't even know from adam to to start stocking so mm -hmm. right now we have like um we had like five stores that had agreed to stock it which he wasn't part of it and you know i actually thought that well let me just leave him i don't know his reasons but something on friday the holy spirit just said why don't you just give him another call you're the one who's selling a market you can't afford to be um choosy here and immediately I called him. He was like, oh, sister, where have you been? I told you to bring it, bring it. That's how you see to became a stocking from Friday. And another wow. store also became a stocking. So we are stand from five to seven stores on um, Friday. So I praise know. God that he's taking our company to the heights. And we will not despise the day of small beginnings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And Father, we will come to thank you on behalf of our sister, Father, we thank you for open doors. We thank you for open doors. Your word says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, mm. and be ye lifted up, ye mm. everlasting doors, Hallelujah. that the king of glory might come in. It asks the question, who is this king of glory, the Lord that is mighty in battle? Father, mm. the door that you have opened unto our sister, Father Lord, let it remain open. Let not the world have any power to shut it down. You are the one that has turned the heart of stone to a heart of flesh that mm. enabled the other competitor to open and stock her product. Father Lord, let this be abiding. Father mm. Lord, even raise much more people. Father Lord, the next time that we are hearing about this company, let it be ahead of the game in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My sister has prophesied this morning that she wants it to be a Fortune 500 company. So mm. shall it be in the amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, everybody, for this powerful hour of testimony. Uh, my bishop, over to you. Thank you so much my late president, and thank you, everyone. We seal all the testimonies with the precious blood of Jesus Christ Lord so that Jesus. nothing, nothing can weaken or change them. Rather, they will get better and better, more glorious in Jesus' name. I Amen. want to invite very Reverend Dr. Patricia Sawyer to give us the readings for the day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. The scripture very, very reading much. shall be taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 8. Joshua, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 8. Let us hear the word of God. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan you and all these people into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites, 
every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses, from the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Ephraim, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life as I was with Moses, so I'll be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put these people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them, to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, be careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. Verse 8, which is the last one. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, thank you to God. The second reading shall be taken from the Epistle of Colossians, chapter 3, from verse 15 to 17, and 22 to 24. Let us hear the word of God. Colossians 3, from 15 to 17. And let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, to which indeed you are called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and with gratitude in your heart. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Savior, or of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. That, verse 22 to 24, it says, Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but wholeheartedly fearing the Lord. Whatever your task, put yourself in peace as done for the Lord and not for your masters. Verse 24, which is the last one. Since you know that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward, you serve the Lord Christ. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thanks be to God. Amen. 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 Please pardon me. I'm in the midst of people here. Thank you. Thank you. Very Reverend Olusha Ojo. Over to you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I want to thank God for today. Good morning. And I want to appreciate each and every one of us for being here. Uh, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And the reason why we are here is for prayer. And the prayer of today will be a testimony for all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, this morning we gather together and uh, we pray fervently on the touch of God. And, uh, and I believe we have been touched. And one of the touch, one of the evidence that we have been touched is what I'm going to bring to us this morning. And uh, I'm going to be talking about the gift of work the gift of work. We just want to remind ourselves of what God is saying to us in the scripture. Uh, let us pray. The entrance of your work, God, gives light and understanding to the simple. Lord, we pray today as we go into your word, 
He will give us inspiration from heaven and mm -hmm. give us the Holy Spirit to bring light onto our path and onto mm -hmm. our life through Amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The gift of work. I so much believe that all of us, we have one thing or the other that we are doing. And it is very common to all of us. We have nurses in our midst. We have doctors. We have lecturers. We have bishop, the priest, and all of us, and so on and so on. I so much believe that these are the gifts of God for us and the job that we are do doing. But I want us to know that God himself started this in his creation when he formed the heaven and the earth, when he began to do one thing or the other from one day to seventh day. And on the seventh day, the Bible made us to understand that he rested. And the work that we are doing still continue. When we look at the epistle of Paul to Colossians, uh, especially where we just read in verse, uh, from verse 22 to 24. Let me read from verse 22 to 24. Slaves, you must always obey your earthly masters. Yes. Try to please them at all times. And yes. not just when you think they are watching. Honor the Lord and serve your master with your whole heart. Do your work willingly as though you were serving the Lord himself and not mm -hmm. just your earthly master. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, the Lord Jesus Christ is the one you are really serving. And you know that he will reward you. Amen. I so much believe that the work we are doing is a gift of God that God Almighty has called us to, to be doing in order to bless others, in order to show love to others, in order to help others. But what am I saying this morning? We grow to live our own faith through the work of our hands. We grow to leaves of our own faith through the works of our hands. Jesus doing the work, how good for him to go around, doing good to all people, raising the dead, healing the, dick, the sick, and blessing everyone. God created us. The first man and woman, he put them into the garden. He said, dress it and keep it. I now realize that the work of our hand is to grow up. The more we do it, the more we grow. The more we do it, the more establishment we have. Because God gave us one thing or the other, not for us. For, for him, not for us, but for him. And God, the cunning of God for us is we have to give our best from what we are doing to God. Being a Christian at work is the best shown by our action. Our work becomes our best opportunity to witness our faith, to witness our faith. What we are doing is not that we are doing it alone for blessing that we are getting from it, but it is to witness our faith. It is to bring gospel to the people and work with good attitude. The Lord, we should realize that the Lord is our ultimate boss. Like Paul was telling the people of Colossians, advising the slaves, not that anybody is watching you, because you know that whatever you do, you are doing it to God. Whatever you are doing, you are doing it to God. So our job is a mission. 
And our job is a ministry. And we must give ourselves to serve people in excellence. We must give ourselves to serve people in excellence. We work is a blessing. It's not a cause. So we solve problems. We serve our people. Every one of us, as we are here, doing one thing or the other, automatically we are helping people, we are serving people, we are creating, we are shaping, we are modifying, but all to the glory of God. Because everything we see around us today is the evidence of work of God. And look at the God that we are serving. He gave us the power to see what is going around us. But he did not give us the power to, 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 to see what is happening inside of us. So what we do is to glorify God, not to glorify ourselves. But when we do it willingly, that is where the establishment will come out. That is where the growth will come out. That is where the blessing will come out. And God, he said, we, our identity come from God. Our identity come from God who love us, our ultimate value from the fact that we are created by God who love us. Why do we do what we are doing? Why do we do what we are doing? Are we just focused on ourselves? Are we doing it for the value of our own self? Are we doing it for the value of our own family? No. We are doing it to serve the Lord. We are doing it to extend. We are doing it to proclaim. We are doing it to evangelize. Irrespective, it is not only those who are in the ministry alone are having the work of God in their heart. Everybody are called to perform, to do the work of God. And the kingdom of heaven, to propagate the kingdom of heaven. Uh, what am I bringing this morning? The work that you are doing, does it require blessing from God? Does it need a touch from God? Does he need a blessing from God? The Bible says he will bless the work of our hands. The work of our hand is for expansion. The work of our hands is for establishment. If the work of our hands is to grow, then if we will need, if we need all those areas to be affected by God, we need a prayer. And that's why we are here. Brother and sister, I'm calling us to today that that thing you have in your hand called work needs a prayer. It needs a touch. It needs a touch from God. It needs a prayer to God. Obey the doom. You know what happened? It because he kept the ark of the living God. Within three months, God blessed him. God expanded him. And the work you are doing, God can do the same. Because God is not doing it for you alone. God is doing it to propagate his work, to propagate his kingdom. And that's what we are doing. I just want us, all of us to bring what we are doing into the presence of God this morning. I just want all of us to bring whatever you are doing. Though it might be little, though it might be much, though it might be small, though it might be little, but bring it up to God. And you will see God of expansion. You will see God of blessing. You will see God of greater height. You will see God of great promotion. You will see God of great elevation. He said, come unto me, all who are heavy laden. Come unto me. Take my yoke upon you. And I will do what? I will give you rest. He said, I'm a God that provides abundant blessing. So, the work in our hands is to grow. Do you all believe that whatever we have today is an evidence of the work we are doing? What we have today is an evidence of what we are performing, of what we are doing. Without the work in our hand, we can never be where we are today. But that what you have in your hand needs prayer. It needs a blessing. It needs a touch. 
And I pray, God, in infinity mercy, he will open the windows of heaven and he will multiply his blessing, his grace, unmerited favor. Amen. He will open it unto us this morning. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Thank you amen. so much, uh, Reverend Ojo, for the um, inspirational message. And uh, it is time for us to pray for ourselves as well as for others. The Bible says, I'm reading just one verse, uh, prelude to the prayers, uh, Second. Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. Worthy is a lamb. Hallelujah. The Bible says here, God directly speaks to all of us. If my people, so who are his people? We are his people. We are congregating here together. What well, gives a condition, a couple of conditions for us to have our prayers answered. One of those is to humble ourselves and also turn away from our wicked ways. So we humble ourselves this morning and let us come to the throne of mercy in repentance. The God Almighty is exceedingly and abundantly able to answer us even for more than what we are requesting today. So as I lead these intercessory prayers, uh, as we humble ourselves and as we present ourselves in humility before the throne of mercy today, may uh, we take any prayer points at this time? There's anyone that has any prayer requests, either for yourself or for somebody close to you? Uh, this is the time for us to call out our prayers, our prayer petitions. Anybody? Prayer for a friend who is having difficult um, recovery from an injury. Prayer for a friend uh, for recovery from injury. Thank you, ma'am. Any other person? Prayer for God's favor. Have my prayer for my God's favor. favor. Okay. okay, on our sister and our family. Any other? All right, so we also want to remember those who are unable to join us physically today, but maybe at work or somehow incapacitated to be with us for one reason or the other. So we want to pray that the almighty God will extend his healing grace upon all of them. Let us pray. pray Father, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we give thanks and praise to you this morning. Father Almighty, you have asked us to come to you in humility, humbleness of heart, asking for forgiveness and turning away from our wicked ways. Father, as we bring thanks offering to you this day, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will forgive us our sins or anything that the devil may be pointing uh, his finger to us at this time for one fault or the other. Mm. We pray in the name of Jesus, you will create in us a clean heart, O oh Lord, Amen. as we approach the throne of mercy today. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy rest and abide with us today as we approach your throne of mercy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we remember at this time, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, for that sister, O oh Lord, who is having trouble recovering from our injury. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray at this time. Lord, you will send forth your power, O Lord, to send us to set to, to, to set us free in the name of Jesus. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus at this time. Heavenly Father, 
that, Lord, your grace and favor will rest and abide upon our sister, O Lord, in every Amen. ramification, in every area of our life, O Lord. We pray she will find yes. favor with you. She will find favor yes. with everybody that she comes in contact with. Amen. And we're using her as a point of contact for all of us, O Lord, that in this coming week, the remaining part of October, the remaining part of this year, Lord God Almighty, we ask for nothing but your favor. When we Amen. enter into offices, all the closed doors shall be opened unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. When we seek Amen. these coming ways, Father oh, Lord, Almighty, oh, Lord. we oh, will find oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, when Amen. we knock on doors, doors will open oh, for us oh, in oh, the oh, mighty oh, name of Jesus. Oh, Father oh, Almighty, oh, where they have oh, said no before, oh, they oh, will call oh, us oh, and they will oh, say oh, yes. Oh, Lord, Father, for oh, all those of oh, us, all the members of this household, who have applied for positions or for jobs and they have said no. Lord, we decree by your mighty hand they will turn around and they will say yes to them. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, O oh Lord, in this coming week when we seek, O oh Lord, that which is good, we will find in the name of Jesus. So says the word, O oh Lord, we claim your word in the mighty name of Jesus that our mouths will be filled with testimony it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Almighty, we lift up all the troubled spots of the world into your heart. We oh, pray Lord. especially for the current crisis Lord, between Israel and Hamas oh, and Palestine. Lord. Father, we Lord, decree Lord. peace upon Israel. We decree, Lord, peace. Lord. we decree divine intervention Lord, between the nation of Israel and Palestine. We decree Lord, peace upon them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We declare a total end to this war and to this crisis Lord, in the Lord, name Lord. of Jesus. Lord, Father, Lord. we are not unaware of Lord, all the prophecies Lord. and all the, 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 the promises of the Bible. Many of them are coming to pass at this end time. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, we still invoke your mercies, O Lord, upon Israel, upon Palestine, upon Hamas. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for comfort for all those people who have lost their family members and their loved ones as a result of this crisis. Lord, we pray for those who are still unaccounted for, that wherever they may be, O oh Lord, the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we bring them forth from the debris or wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For all other troubled spots of the world, for all other troubled spots in this country, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, there will be peace. There will Amen. be peace. And there will be peace. Nothing but peace in the name of Jesus. Lord Amen. God Almighty, your word says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if we humble ourselves, if we repent from our evil ways, and we come and we pray to you, you will heal our land. Father, Amen. we pray in the name of Jesus, our business land, our marital land, our financial lands, Father, we decree healing upon them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that every dry land in our lives, O oh Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus. They Amen. will receive strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will bring forth good things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Almighty, we thank you for all Amen. our individual families represented here this morning in this prayer time, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. By the time we are sharing testimonies, next, I decree in the name of Jesus, mm. every household here, we have Amen. a testimony to share. Lord, Amen. so shall you be in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for our church. Thank, Thank you for you Methodist Church Nigeria USA Diocese. Thank yes. you for Methodist Church Nigeria overall. Thank Amen. you for the leadership of our church. Thank you for every other congregation or denomination represented at this forum, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you give us the special grace even to fulfill the divine injunction of going out to spread the word and mm. winning souls for you, and yes. depopulating the kingdom of darkness, and Amen. depopulating the kingdom of light, which is yes. the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So, Amen. Lord, we thank you for answering our prayers this morning, for Amen. every category of prayers that we have yes. brought to you today, yes. for ourselves, 
and our families and our nation and the whole world of prayer. We return thanks unto you and we praise your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless God for this opportunity again to intercede for every one of us here and our households, our mm. families, and our country, and our world. Yes, the church of God is marching on, and the gates of hell will never prevail against it. Mm. Please join yeah. us again next uh, Saturday, the same time, to experience the mighty power and the mighty hand of God. Bring somebody... Tell somebody, invite somebody to be a part of this program, and your life shall never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you so much, Senior Secretary. And we want to take a moment to thank everyone that has come today. This is Solution Hour number six. We're about to go into prophetic prayers. And I, I want everyone, wherever we are, to just open uh, Bibles. This specific pro prophecy is targeted at Israel as a nation. But we know that in Abraham, we are also God's own sons and daughters. So we can apply it to ourselves and to our specific situations. Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3 from verse 15. And as we take every line, we will turn it into prayers for ourselves or areas where that prophecy impacts our lives. I start from the very first sentence. The Lord has taken away your punishment, my punishment, the punishment of members of my family. Turn it into a prophetic prayer. If there are areas where people want to punish you, even where you've done wrong, this prophecy is take, saying the Lord is taking away the consequences of our wrongdoing. Yeah, He's taking away our God. punishment. I Father, oh Lord, Father, every punishment, even the ones I deserve. The Bible I says even the lawful captive will be set free. Yes, yes, even sir. mistakes I have made, mm -hmm. reports that people are, have written, Correct assessments. Okay. I pray that you take away the punishment. Take away, take away the punishment the against us, against our family members. Our yes. children have done wrong. They are mixed with the okay. wrong people. But Father, take away the punishment we beseech you in your mercy and by your grace. Oh, yes, Lord. That's who you are. That's what you can do. Take away our punishment we beseech you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In oh, Jesus' fine. mighty name, has we prayed. He says, He has turned yeah. back your enemy. He's turned back your enemy. Or what is an enemy to you right now? Let's turn it to prophet prayers. Lord, turn back my enemies. Whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. A sickness, an enemy. If they are human beings, authorities that have made themselves enemies up to us. Father, turn back our enemies. Every enemy. We didn't go out there to make ourselves enemies to people. But if people have decided to work against us and constitute themselves into enemies, then Father, please turn back our enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. That same verse says, the Lord, the King of Israel, the King of the United States, the King of Nigeria, the King of the world, he is with us. Yes, Savior. Never again will we be afraid of any. Turn it into a prophetic prayer. My Father, because you are with me, I am not afraid of any harm. I'm not afraid of harm in my place of work. I'm not afraid of harm in my ministry. I'm not afraid of harm in society. I'm not afraid that when I go to the mall, some wicked murderer will come shooting. 
I'm not afraid for my children, my children out there. I'm not afraid about what they teach them. Why? Because you are with us. We hold that prophecy and personalize it for us and for members of our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 16 says, on that day they will say concerning Jerusalem, do not fear Zion. They will say concerning if I Chukumwade, concerning my family, concerning my beloved wife, my sons, my daughters, my family, the congregation in the diocese of USA. And our hands will not go limp. We will not go slack. The God of restoration will restore the years that have been taken away. We hold that and we claim it in all areas of our lives. Even concerning these diocese, concerning our ministry, concerning the impact that God wants us to make across the United States of America, spreading scriptural holiness across the land. Verse 17, he will come and save you. He will come and save you. The Lord your God is with you. Yes. The mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you and your family. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you. But he will rejoice over you with singing. Turn it into a prophetic prayer. My father, my father, you will rejoice over me with singing. You will rebuke me no more. Not because of who I am but because of who Jesus Christ has made me, because of who I have become reconciled to you by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. And look at verse 18. He says, I will remove from you all who mourn over the loss. Everything that has brought mourning, everything that has brought suffering, everything that has brought pain in the remaining 12 weeks of this year, Lord, we hold on to your word because we know the thoughts you have for us. They are peace and not of evil. And we ask you, every pain, every mourning, every sorrow, take away, take away, take away, take away your oh mercy. Verse 19 ends by saying, I will give you praise and honor in yes, every Lord. land where you have suffered shame, turn it into prayer. He's turned my mourning into dancing again. He's lifted my sorrow, and I can keep silent. I will shout for my joy has come. Every area where I was experiencing shame, Lord, in the remaining, in the remaining, in the remaining 11 weeks, of this year, starting from tomorrow, for me, for my family, for our brethren here on this solution mountain, take the shame away, Lord. Take the shame away, take the pain away, take the money away, take the sorrow away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And in verse 20, he says, I will bring you home, I will give you honor and praise, Father. Honor me, honor. Honor members of my family. Honor everyone that has come to you on this solution mountain today, October 14, 2023. He touched me and he made me whole. Ask God to touch you and honor you. Ask God to touch you and make you whole. Members of our families, take away the pain, take away the dishonor, take away the embarrassment, take away the shame. Ask God to touch you afresh today. Solution hour number six. Yes, As we close week 41, 11 more weeks to go. And 11 is the number of double honor. 11 more weeks to go. Lord, make them the best weeks of our lives. Spiritual with incremental anointing. Greater manifestation of your power beyond our imaginations. Physically with good health, divine health, with joy, with peace, with love in our homes. Financially, let's make more income because you are the one who gives us power to make wealth. More income in the remaining weeks of this year than any other weeks of our lives. He touched me. 
He touched me. And I know what joy that filled my soul. Something happened. And I, I know he touched me. And he made me. Oh, he touched me, my Savior touched me, and I know what joy that filled my soul. Something happened, and I I know he touched me and he made me oh. Merciful Lord, on this Solution Mountain, we thank you for your awesome presence. And we know that in your presence, there is anointing, there is joy, there is rejoicing, there is honor, there is promotion, there is healing. Bodies are lifted in your presence. Lord, as we round up this time with you, none of us is leaving your presence. Let your presence ever remain with us. Yes, sir. Remember as many who couldn't join us physically and may just be watching this program from the YouTube channel. We pray that they will be partakers of the blessings as well that you put together for us today. Once again, we claim all the blessings, the prophetic blessings in Zephaniah chapter 3 from verse 15, following all of us are members of our families. Lord, in your mercy, we pray that all of us are members of our families with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of atonement, blood of propitiation, Blood that speak a better things than the blood of Abel. The blood that conquers Satan and guarantees our victory. King of kings and Lord of lords, we worship you. Do not share your glory with any man. And for every prayer request that has been brought before you today. And Lord Almighty, for every silent prayer, the hymn writer says, Prayer is the soul's sincere desire, uttered or unexpressed. Every desire that wasn't expressed here, according to your sovereign will, by the time we come for solution hour number seven, October 21, 2023, let there be uncommon testimonies to yes, your glory. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. And God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And with boldness, let us all confess together. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with all of us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us unmute and greet ourselves properly. I, but we don't know where this is. <laughs> don't worry, oh, brother. Oh, right. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. God bless all of us. Good morning. 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 Good mor